Okay, everybody, I just wanted to make a quick side note about installing the transmission into the car and making sure everything has made it up properly. Um, I had to pull the transmission probably at least three or four different times to get everything lined up in there correctly, get everything to fit, get my bell housing, the bolts on there, and to get the proper spacing between the flex plate and the torque converter. Now, my setup just to kind of give you a heads up, because it's going to vary depending on your application. But I have the 5.3 liter motor, and I've got a transmission from a V6 S10. Um, now, I don't want to get into a debate about the longevity of a V6 S10 4L60E transmission versus a V8. I've heard there might be issues with it, there might not be issues with it. Some people have had success, some people have not had success. I'm going to roll the dice on it. I got this transmission for $200. If it takes a crap on me, it's not really the end of the world. I'll just pull it out and rebuild it, or I'll pull it out and slap another one in there from the junkyard. Not a big deal. But I did want to just kind of go over the mating issues I was having with it. So the first thing is you have to make sure that your tor torque converter is fully seated in your transmission before you try to push it up and get it into position. So the way you do that is you push the torque converter in, then you're gonna turn it a little bit while pushing in and it'll slap, snap in a little bit further, then turn it the other direction again, and the same thing will happen. It'll fully seat down on the transmission. Uh, there's a measurement for that, but I didn't measure it after I got it in. I, I knew that it was fully seated at that point. It snapped in there a couple times and uh, I was like, oh yeah, this is much better because when I first tried to mount the transmission, up to the motor, um, my torque converter was contacting my flex plate and it wouldn't go in all the way. Uh, no matter what I did, it did not want to mate up properly. Now there are two different types of adapters that they say you need to use v depending on what engine you have and what transmission you need. There is a spacer that goes between the crank and the flex plate and there's a flex plate that goes from the torque converter snout into the crank so depending on what combination you're running, you're gonna need a different combination of those spacers. In this application, specifically the 5.3 liter motor with the 4L60E from a V6 S10, what you need is the one spacer that goes between the crank and the flex plate. The reasoning behind that is that the 4.3 liter V6 had a longer crankshaft than the 5.3 liter V8 has. The 5.3 liter V8 has a shorter crank distance protruding out from the block. So you need to put that spacer in there to make up the difference of the shorter crank. Um, I'm using the flex plate from the V6 4L60E S10 transmission. So from the flex plate back, I've got everything from the S10. I've got the flex plate, the torque converter, and the transmission from the V6 S10. Um, then I've got the spacer on the other side of the flex plate and then the 5.3 liter motor. So with that combination, the snout fits into the spacer, um, everything lines up properly. And then the next thing that you wanna check is right up in here, this business right there. You can see where the torque converter bolts to the flex plate. Now you wanna check this measurement with this thing fully seated into the transmission and you want no more than 3 16 of a gap here. And the way you can check that is just take a 3 16 drill bit and see if it'll fit between the torque converter and the flex plate. And I'm not gonna show you, I already checked it, but uh, in my circumstance, it did not fit between there, but there is a bit of a gap, which means that we do have the proper spacing and I can bolt everything together. So I just kind of wanted to share my knowledge and experience with you guys, what I went through. Uh, maybe try to prevent you from pulling the transmission in and out three or four times like I did to make sure everything was right. But uh, I hope this video helps you out. And uh, make sure you check out my channel for other videos on this build. I've got a lot of videos. Well, I think I'm up to nine or ten maybe uh, to show you how to do this swap. Also... Another thing you want to watch out for, if you're using a flex plate from the V6 S10, you're going to need to elongate some of the holes. I've got a video on that too. So you make sure you check it out. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. That way you see the end result of all this work. Thank you.